a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, that's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on So if you want to join me for a while Just grab your hat and we'll travel like that's old style Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on Stay where you are, you baby. I'll tell you when you can go. What do you mean I hit you? I saw you. You were nowhere near me. I had to be x-rayed and taken to a hospital. I didn't touch you. I would have felt something. I guess not. You're going too fast. What about you, standing there like a block of wood? What do you say? I didn't see anything, ma'am. Because there was nothing to see. Look, I think you should both grow up and go home. This is a dangerous, stupid game you're playing. And I'm not gonna let you play it with me! See? She didn't believe you, Richie. She will. Give me a pencil. Why? Because I want to get her plate number. No way! Nobody calls me a liar and gets away with it. See this? You got that at soccer practice. Yeah? So who's gonna listen to you, eh, Simple Simon? You don't have no guts. I do. I'll tell the truth. You do, and you can forget those chickens of yours. Pigeons. They're racing pigeons. They look like chickens to me, and so do you. I hope you catch it, Richie. If I do, the chickens do too, sucker. Get out of here, go on. What are you staring at? It's a game, get it? It's my game. You wanna play a game? Here. Fetch. So you're too stupid to play fetch. It's not my problem. Can't you? What do you care what I do? You don't even know me. You're crazy, Richie! I hope they catch you with the screwdriver. One word and you can forget those chickens of yours. VEH862. VEH862. I'm oh, dead dog. They've traced the number and they're picking her up now. She lives just over in the Bay Ridges area. That was very clever of you to memorize her license number like that. Now, don't move. You know what they said in emergency? You're going to have to give the police a full statement, you know. Do you think they'll believe me? <laughs> of course, darling. Who wouldn't? Now, upstairs with you and rest. Yes, and your mother's right. Here, I'll carry you. That's okay, Now, Daddy. don't be silly. And I'll bring you up some ice cream and we'll roll a TV set in from our room for you. Mm. Woman must be a 
monster. To walk away from a child who could be serious hurt. Imagine denying the whole thing. Who do you think you are? Columbo? Thanks for reminding me about the evidence. Well, we all know you're too proud to fetch. Get out of here, go on. You bring your kids up to be truthful, then an adult does something like that. What's gonna happen with Richie's belief in adults, his trust in them? didn't stop. The back of the car cut the pedal of my bike, flipped me over, dragged me for a little. And how far was that? A few yards? A few feet? I don't know. A couple of meters, maybe. Metric. Kids are all talking metric. Mine's the same. Go on, son. What happened next? I don't really know. I guess I must have blacked out for a while. Because when I woke up, lying there on the ground, the lady was already parking, acting like she didn't even know. I didn't. I'm sure if I'd even brushed him, I would have known it. Sergeant, there was no damage done to the boy's bike. And he looked fine when I got out of the car. Miss Stroud, you're not on trial. Yet. We'll get your statement in a moment. Now, let's have a look at your bike, shall we? My racers? Aren't they beauties? That's Wilbur, and that's Orville. Only Orville's a girl. They're not brand new. It's Richie's. What do you want? I'm not, I'm not telling. I'm not going near that creep. It hurt my birds. But I wish I had the guts to tell the police on them. Scratch does seem to be consistent with the boy's statement, Miss Stroud. And it's fresh, too. And the pedal is definitely bent on the boy's bike. Though I can understand you might not necessarily have noticed it at the time. Well, the scratch is new. I'm not denying that. But I don't see how I could have hit his bike and not known it. I would have felt something or heard something. Did you have the windows up? The radio on? No! What's this? It's, uh, my... Your screwdriver. It was in my toolkit. It's got flecks of paint on it. Looks like the paint on Miss Stroud's car. Uh, it could have made the scrape when she hit me. It could have gotten knocked out. It's possible, if the collision occurred in such a way. There was no collision. That's why the dog brought you that. Settle down, Miss Stroud. It's just a game with the dog. I believe in justice, officer, but don't you think this is just a little unfair for the innocent party? No! Please don't! The police are there! Matt Richie. He always gets me in trouble. Look, first of all, there was another boy with your son. But you said there were no witnesses. I 
kid, a kid came over after to see if I was all right. You know his name? No, John or something. Then why were you talking to him as if you knew each other, as if you were letting him in on a joke? How dare you talk like that after what you've done? It was a hit and run. What are you trying to say? <sighs> nice trick, fella, but scram. No! No, there's gotta be more to it than that. Sergeant Rice, this dog was in the parking lot. He saw everything. Is he yours? No, we don't own a dog. Well, maybe he belongs to the other boy. There was no other boy. Yes, there was, sir. I was there all the time. That's him! That's Simon. You know Simon. You said... So? He doesn't know anything. I know you lied, Richie. And scratched the car on purpose. Oh, my God. Richie, get in the house. This is true, Mr. McKinley. I'm afraid Miss Stroud is well within her rights to lay a charge of mischief against your son. I'm gonna get you for this, Simon. You're gonna be sorry you ever met me. I said get into the house! And that's no word of a lie. to which he went to make his lies work. I mean, look at that pedal. How'd he do it? It's all so extreme. Where have we gone wrong? What do we do? The wrecking bar, I might have known. And you, we should be thankful to you, even for this final convincing clue. He seems to be astray. The least we could do is to find him a good home. That's for sure. I'll make a few phone calls. Let's leave him here for the time being. back to let you know that Miss Stroud has decided not to press charges against your son. Which is remarkable when you consider all the emotional distress she went through. I know, and we're very grateful, Sergeant. Of course, our major concern is that he might do something like this again. If he does, hey! then... Hey! Richie's gone! No, he's gone! He's run away! Richie! Okay. 
Are you really hurt? Nope. Good again, Bozo. Some people never learn. Didn't take his bike. Oh, and the constable will give him a hand. Probably still nearby. That's Richie's hat. Look. Is that you, Orville? Come back. Get hurt. Look what I got here. Mmm, nice seat. Come here, boy. Okay, have it your way. See, Dad, I figured I'd, I'd better go and apologize to Simon. But Simon was out training his birds, so I followed. Hey, what are these? These are Simon's. Well, he's no friend of mine, and neither are you. <coughs> what happened? Did one of his stupid birds attack him? Okay, okay, where is the dumb kid? Simon, I'm not even a Boy Scout for Pete's sake. Hurry, please hurry. Come on, Simon. Breathe. I'm sorry for all those mean things I did to you. I didn't mean to be such a jerk. Just breathe for me, will you? You're gonna get brain damage. You don't want that, a smart kid like you. <coughs> oh, you did it, man. Now stay here while I go get help.
Sergeant! Constable Adler! Here's the dog. Well, have you seen him? Richie! Where are you? Dad! Dad, is that you? Okay, young man. I've had it with you now. Let's go. No, Dad! Listen, I was with Simon. I don't know how it happened, but there was an accident. Don't start, Richard. I'm not listening. He fell, and he isn't breathing, you I'm see? I'm warning you. That's enough! No, Dad, this is the truth. You gotta... The truth is, you ran away. Admit it. <laughs> go see what's happening. No, I didn't. Dad, you gotta believe me. I don't. Come on. I'm afraid you're in very serious trouble, young man. Sergeant, Mr. McKinley. Is he okay? Really? Oh, yes, sir. He must have taken quite a jolt. He said he wasn't breathing, son. What did you do? I just did what I saw the police do on TV. You gave him mouth to mouth. <sighs> Looks like you and the dog just saved his life. Yeah, I think he just saved mine. <laughs> I brought you enough money to replace Orville. I'm real sorry I made you lose him. Her. Thanks. Hey, I saw in a Bruce Lee movie once, if he saves somebody's life, he becomes your responsibility forever. Yeah? Yeah, but forget it. I think the idea stinks. Hey, look! Orville, you're okay! Thanks, fella. You can have your money back now. Unless... Unless what? Unless you'd like to buy a bird. Keep it with mine. Uh, we could try to make friends. You kidding? No, I'm lying. Are you really? I can't tell. Richie, if someone's your friend, he never lies to you. Really? That's neat. You know what I'm gonna call my pigeon? Columbo. I'm gonna name it after that dog. Thanks, fella. Bye, Columbo. There's a voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, that's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again Maybe tomorrow I want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on in Toronto, guests of The Littlest Hobo stay at the Ramada Renaissance, a very out-of-the-ordinary luxury hotel featuring non-luxury prices. Cars for The Littlest Hobo, supplied by Tilden, the only Canadian name in worldwide car rentals. Tilden features cars by Chrysler, like the Reliant. <laughs>